Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add Vitrabon to number 14. Wipe. And just put it right there. And we'll like hear that. So what we have we have a five five point oh uh composite tight on fourteen and a four five on the thirteen. Distal of thirteen repaired with um sure fill posterior flow and now we're gonna etch everything and follow it with the small brush and again this is uh 3m's baby I had someone instruct me to really scrub that dentin. You can actually remove particles. They don't come off with anything else. We scrubbed already with cavity cleanser. Now we're going to rinse it all. Don't desiccate, just light air, slightly moist surface. Flowable. And we'll use the adhesive first. That needs to be scrubbed more. dragging it up in the buckle and lingual walls. Now it's okay. Here comes the air. It just prevents pooling. We're going to like cure it. Right. Double checking everything. Okay. Perfect. So these are two class twos I'm doing together.
Call him back, please. Next piece, Hollenbeck. And dab that in with uh, Okay, next piece. I'm gonna create this wall again. Pushing against the lingual wall and the buckle wall. And it just naturally fills the base. I can go one more piece here. And then we'll cure it. See, I just wanted to pull that down on the pulp of wall. I'll zoom in. White. Like here. Our timer's on about a thirty second timer, so at about twenty each. seconds. That should do it. Now the walls are built. You almost can take your bands out, put them aside. Yeah, wipe though. Please wipe first. Thank you. Again, I'm addressing the C factor. I'm going to transfer some of this right over here. And I have a little extra to carve. Holland back, please. I'm just going to put a little bit down in the central groove. Get that sealed. Might. Okay. All right, acorn. a little 
Wasser. Right. All in back. Presto. Teeth that look like they don't have fillings. Nice color. We're good. Cure it. Holder next. Light up. I'm just going to do a peel back here. We'll do a light cure in the buckle and the lingual side. You can see some of the excess coming out the side, normal excess what we got. It's too easy to criticize that uh, you know that excess is an overhang. Well it's very thin flash, comes off with a scaler. I just get used to doing that. It works well for me. And you get a nice seal. Alright. That completes the bonding. So now I'm just going to take out the vans. next. See how easy that is? It comes right off. It's easy to scale. And if there was any overhang, uh, it just flakes right off. So there was some discussion earlier from one of the other videos about contacts, maintaining contacts, and getting a, a good seal. And, and also there was some issues, I guess, people were talking about uh, putting some floss around the clamp. Well, that's not a bad idea or the safety feature, so we might end up doing that next time. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and polish. We'll do step three.